Hello there and welcome to The Summon, The African Summon, where we connect you to Africa and African culture. In today's edition, we continue our exploration learning about the African traditional marriage and we take you to the tribe of Ewe in Ghana. We have with us Mama Wese the first. She is the queen mother of the Ewe Association of Atlanta, Georgia. Informally, she's known as Mrs. Ai, an entrepreneur, a mother of five, a grandmother of six, and the first of nine children. Without much ado, let's welcome the Queen Mother of the Airway Association. Welcome, Ma. Thank you, my dear. So, Ma, help us understand, who is the Queen Mother? Thank you, my dear. Uh, before I go there, I would like to talk a little bit about Ghana, where I come from. Ghana is situated in West Africa. Uh, Ghana is divided into 16 regions, which the Volta region is one, one of the regions. Ghana has a very rich and beautiful culture. Ghana is a home to more than 100 tribes and ethnic groups. There are six major ethnic groups in Ghana, namely the Akan, the Ewe, the Mole, the Dagbani, the Kwan, and the Ghan Adangwe. Ghana has a population of over 25 million people, and uh, Ghana has about 50 indigenous languages. So, um, I'm Mama Huese, the first, and the Queen Mother. Uh, a Queen Mother is someone, is a mother, to the community and the entire society where you live. And he takes care of um, the affairs of everybody that comes around him. So basically, a queen mother is a mother to everyone. Wow, Mama. And so help us understand, when your children, if a boy or a girl in the community, are interested in getting married and they have this idea, help us understand, how do they get to introduce this information to their, to their family and go about it? Thank you. When um, a man is of age and he wants to marry, actually, if we say a man is of age, like 20, 21 and matured, and the lady to around 20, 21, you, you can get married. So if you are a man and you see a lady, and you want to marry the lady, you don't just go and pick the lady on the street or wherever you meet in a club and then said, oh, okay, I want to marry you. Here is your ring, take it, let's go leave. No, uh, in our land, we don't do that. We give respect to whom respect is due. So if you see that I've seen the lady, you go to your mother uh, and tell mommy, I have seen a lady here in the community and I, I would love to marry her. Can you go and inquire about her for me? So mommy will say, okay, I will do that. So mommy would go and do all investigation around, uh, seeking to know the lady, to know the family, the, who the parents are. And then if she's satisfied, she'll come back and come and tell you, okay, my son, I have done all the inquiries. And I think this lady will be very good for you. Uh, to make family with. Then they have to, when it happens like that, then they have to go direct to the family. And uh, that's what we call knocking. They have to send message to the lady's family that uh, we want to come and see you uh, uh, because of your daughter. So we want to come and see you. So the lady's family will give a time that they can come in. So that is what we call knocking. So by then, they will delegate um, an elderly person from the man's family. The father does not go, the mother does not go, either an uncle or a family head, and then maybe your auntie or your elder sister. Um, and about three people or four is enough. Then they carry a bottle of schnapp, and you can add soft drink. Some people even put a little money in an envelope. It's just a token, just a respect. So, in our, in our culture, we say we don't go to an elderly person's home empty-handed. So that's what it takes. 
And then you take it. And when you go, we go early in the morning. And then you knock at the door. It's like you don't get to somebody's home and just open the door and go. You have to knock. So that's what we call it. That's why we call it knocking. Then you go and then they will welcome you and ask you, um, we are home. You have come. The reason for you coming. Can you let us know? Then you, they will speak. One person will speak. Maybe the, the head of the family will speak that, oh, our son, uh, so, so, and so, I've seen your daughter. And we deal with that. It's a good thing to do a respect for the family to come and inquire about your daughter so that in case you see your daughter with our son, nobody will chase him up or nobody will beat him up. So we are here because of that. Then the father of the, uh, the, the lady will call the lady in to ask if you know those seated here. If you say yes, and he said, do you know the reason why they are here? Maybe the guy has informed him already that they are coming, so he knows. So, oh, yes, yeah, so, okay. So they are saying that this and this, they have seen you. So they want to come and ask permission so that you and the guy can meet. So if you say yes, then it's okay, you can go. Then they sit down and talk about how things are going to be. And then they will tell you, okay, we have heard all that you have brought, all that you have said. So now you can go. Um, we have to talk to the, the other part of the family. Then we will get back to you. Then it ends there. So if I may ask mama, the things they bring, like the drinks uh, and the money they, they want to, does that make a commitment from the family? Because they appear to still be saying they want to think about it. No, it does not. It's that just a gift. Respect. Okay. So tell us, after the knocking, what happens next? Okay. After the knocking, the lady's family to go and do their investigation to find out if the guy is okay where he's coming from, if he will be a responsible husband for their uh, daughter. So they also go and do all those investigations. If they are satisfied, then they will send message to you, the man's family that, okay, uh, we have done what we have to do. So now in our family, this is what we do. So we have to come for a list um, of uh, uh, items to come properly to get uh, uh, to marry to our daughter. Now the list, what's on this list and why? What's okay. on this list? The list, uh, we have, we call something the dowry. The dowry, all those things on the list is for the, uh, the lady you are coming to marry. You are going to start a home. So they make sure that all those things that are on the list will make it easier for you that when the lady comes into your family, it actually, it, it benefits you and the, and the man, the both of you, that the lady will not come in, he hasn't got any clothes, he hasn't got nothing uh, in hand. At least even the money that you add to is something that you can use in starting something, some business or something to help both of you. So they do it in such a way because you guys are not matured yet. So this is a process. So if they add all these things, it will help the two of you to build up the family. Mama, so tell us, what's on that list? Okay, I will go by um, the dowry for the lady first. Okay, on the list, we have a Bible. And then we have uh, the engagement ring. Then we have six pieces of cloth. That is Holland or GTP. Then we have six pieces of hair gear, like the one I'm wearing now, have something like that. Then we have one set of jewels, necklace, earrings, and bracelets. And then we have one gold wristwatch and the beads as I'm wearing. Beads uh, for the waist, the wrist, and the neck. Two sealed cases, which we call those days, we call them potomanto. Then we have six pieces, six pairs of underwear, panties, braces. Then we have two pairs of shoes, two handbags. Then we have two traditional cloth, like the one I'm wearing, the traditional cloth. That is called, we call it kente. And then we have the native slippers. 
And uh, some families do add a sewing machine and um, uh, two crates of soft drinks, then two bottles of assorted drink, uh, which some people even add more. They don't bring two, they bring like even 10, uh, what they have, depending on their pocket. And then a cash of 2,000 Ghana CDs. So this one too, like I said, if you cherish your, your woman you want to marry, if you have more, you can give more than what they ask for. Uh, so, and then we go to the father-in-law. The father-in-law have one full piece of cloth, big towel, then a pair of sandals and a cash of 500. Then we have the mother-in-law. The mother-in-law have one piece of a kente cloth, then two headgears, which is called duku. Then we have a cash of 300 Ghana. And then we have the brother-in-law. So the brother-in-law to get a gift of uh, 100 cities in an envelope. And then we have acceptance money to the family. So that acceptance money depends on what you can afford, whatever you want to give the family as uh, uh, accepting your uh, everything that you brought that day has been accepted. What you have to, we want to give, you can give more if you have. All right. So Mama, um, once they have this list, if the family is not able to provide all of this, is there a way they can ask for a reduction or, or can they be willing to give more? Help me, how do they? It depends if all that they've asked you to bring on the list, if you are capable and you are even more above, you can add up. If you cherish your woman, you can add more that you, you can give more than what they have given you. If in case you can, the only thing that um, they can reduce here is the money aspect. Maybe your pocket cannot meet it. That's what they can uh, compromise because the rest of the things is to help both of you. So they can give you time to go and uh, look for money and get it done once and for all. Okay. So um, help us after you, you spend time to get everything on the list together. Help us, walk us through what um, is done. How do they come up about uh, their next meeting? Who decides a date on the next meeting and what takes place and where and when? Okay. After the list I've been giving to you, you have to give the time frame. Maybe you don't have money upright. So you have to give a time frame. I'm looking for money. So if you are ready, so it may take like three months, six months. If I'm ready, everything is set, then you send a message, a delegation again to the family that, okay, um, we are ready. So you set a date and uh, the date you suit them to, if it's okay for them, the two, of, the two of you have to come together. And then on that faithful day, you go present whatever they ask you to present to the lady's family. So. What goes on is on that day, that faithful day is done only one day. So on that faithful day, the lady's family to prepare. They will cook because a visitor is coming into their home. So they have to make sure that they are fed, they have drinks. I mean, so they prepare food, prepare drinks, give them shelter where they can sit and be comfortable. So the entire family, they inform the head of family and the extended family and friends and loved ones. Um, you can do it. Some people do it very little, just the immediate family. If they don't want to spend much, some to go abroad and bring in friends and loved ones to come and sit and have fun. So, so this is the traditional marriage we're talking about now. Okay, traditional wonderful. Marriage, traditional marriage. So when they do that, when then the time come, they will be seated. Everybody will be seated. Whilst you come in, uh, with your family. So there must be uh, somebody in the lead that we call, this morning days we call an, an MC, Master of Ceremony. So he has to lead it and then you also have one. So when they come in, they, anything that they want to say or give out, your, the one that is representing will give. By then the lady will be hidden somewhere. The lady for the marriage is hidden. It's not brought to uh, immediately there. The lady will be brought out when everything is uh, that they ask on the list is given out. 
then they will call the lady out to come and see, oh, this um, family has brought all these things that they want to come and marry you. Do you accept them? So immediately you say, yes, you have accepted it. Then everybody is happy that you have accepted you want to marry the guy. Then they will intend to say, okay, we want to see the guy who wants to marry our daughter. They have to bring him out. Then the men's family to go and bring the guy for everybody to see. And I, at times it's just so amazing. They will let the guy turn around and do all kinds of things for them to see that he's capable of marrying their daughter. They do all that. And then the lady to come and turn around, dress beautifully in our uh, traditional wear, and then you turn and uh, turn around for everybody to see. And I mean, it's so, so, so amazing and beautiful. Mm -hmm. So mama, at this point, when do they get married? Since they, they, uh, you mentioned an engagement ring, do they exchange rings at this time? Do they, the, does she get, at what point do they say the couple is married? Okay, after they have presented all the diary and whatever they have to do, and they call the lady in, the guy to come, that's when, if they are Christian, they call a pastor, and then they bring the ring out and the Bible, and then they pray over it, and they wear the ring, and then they are married. Mm. Wonderful, Mama. So, um, does the family get to take their daughter over, or the man's family from there, takes their, take their wife with them on their way as they go. Okay, immediately they are married. It's for the guy. So he can decide, okay, spend the night with your, your family. Then the next day we come and take you away. Or immediately, most of, most of them take the uh, lady away immediately. I'm <laughs> with my lady. And I want to go enjoy my lady. So they take her away, you know? Mm -hmm. Completely makes sense. So, Mama, what is the, the time frame between, um, just help us understand, the time frame between when an introduction is made and the marriage finally takes place. It, does it vary or is there, a, is there a, a time frame which is recommended or is the, does it vary from family to family? It could take six months, like you mentioned, or take... Well, uh, it depends on your pocket. So in case you come in and uh, introduce yourself and all that, if you don't want it to be long and you have everything, they give you the list and uh, you are capable of buying everything on it, immediately you can send message to them within three months or so. You can send message, we are ready, we want to come. If it's six months, you are ready. But um, I think from uh, three months to six months should be the maximum. It, has, it doesn't have to go a year. Now, oh, okay, so tell us, what, what about um, where the man and the lady are not from the same tribe? If they're not all from Ewe, what traditional practice takes place? Would it be the wife's uh, customs that obtain or the man's customs at this ceremony? Well, if you want money, it doesn't matter where you come from, any region any system of the region, or even if you come from outside, whatever it is, the only thing you have to do is to do according to the custom of the lady. That's why they give you the list what they ha you have to do. So okay. it's according to her. All right. And then um, what about those who don't live in Airway? What if they live in the city? And what if they live overseas and they want to participate in this ceremony? Do they need to send uh, someone to represent them for a ceremony like this to take place? How, uh, or, or if, can, they, can they do it overseas? Is it allowed? Will their family have to be there for it to be done? Help us understand how people who may not be able to make it back can, what other modifications they, they can uh, make to make sure that they have this, this ceremony take place. Thank you. Uh, most of the time, if you are abroad, maybe you meet the girl over here and the two of you are here and you know how it is here. It's not easy just going home to do all those things. You let your family back home. The guy, if you, you have family back home, they will have to go see the family of the ladies back home too. So they will call the two of you that, okay, this is what uh, this family has come to say. So 
the most important thing that they accept it. If they accept the two families back home, accept they arrange your family will arrange. You can send money, everything. Then they'll prepare everything as they require, and then send to the lady's family. And then they do the marriage. And you know, social media we have this Zoom and everything. The two of you can dress up that day. They call you on Zoom and do the ceremony right away there, and then you get married. And is it wrong? Is it, it are the cases where somebody has someone standing in their place instead to to represent them back home? Is it is it encouraged? Is it discouraged for substitutes to be used, or is it standard? You want the bride and the groom to be present to or to at least call in. Uh, it's not compulsory to do that. If you want to do it that way, fine. You want somebody to stand in for you, fine. But it's not compulsory. Like I said earlier on, you can do it that way. But if you want someone to stand in for you, nobody will restrict it. Nobody will say no. Okay, Mama. So I have a twist of a question. In modern times, a lot of times people do a traditional marriage. They do a civil ceremony. They do a church ceremony. And... When things go wrong, they um, are quick to go to the courts and say, oh, we want a divorce. Is divorce allowed among the airway people? If not, or if so, how do they go about it? That's a big question. Well, um, the airways, uh, actually, we don't like divorce. We don't like a marriage where you marry then uh, the two of you divorce is not allowed. It's not good. But in the case of where there is um, abuse in the marriage, like you are beating the woman or the woman is beating the guy. So in that case, they will see that the family that sat down to accept the marriage, they will come together with your family and sit down at the same way and say, ah, this is what is happening to our children. What do we do? And when they work it out, they settle it maybe two or three times and they say that it's still going on, they can ask the two of you to separate. They will tell you, they think the best thing for you to do is to separate. They don't divorce at one, but they'll tell you to separate for things to go down and let's see how best the two of you can come back again. But if it doesn't work out, then they can divorce it on the ground that the, the lady will be asked. If the lady accepts that, okay, I want a divorce, and he insisted I want it. I cannot stay in this marriage. I will die. Okay, they go ahead, and the family has to send a drink back to the man's family, and then take their hands off that. From today, your our daughter is no more married to you, your son. So take your drink. Then they divorce. That's a divorce. Then the marriage is cancelled. So you don't have to send everything in the diary back. Just drink. just a drink, just a couple of drinks uh, to notify them that uh, we want to dissolve this marriage. Mama, thank you so much for your kindness, for your time, for helping us go through this process and understand it and educate all of us. We, we sincerely appreciate you. Thank you so much, ma'am. You're welcome. Don't be afraid to marry the airways. We are very good. <laughs> we sure wouldn't be. Thank you. And there you heard it from the Queen Mother herself. I hope you enjoy this. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. Click on the bell to make sure you receive updates when we have new videos. Like our videos and share with your loved ones. I am Mano Ndo Akono saying thank you for responding to this summon.